Financials and technology are two of the most influential sectors of the market. Joe Tanius just mentioned them. That's because they're the two most heavily weighted groups in the S&P 500. Kayla Tausche takes a look now at the financial sector in the new year, but we start with Josh Lipton and technology. First, Tim Cook is proven right. Apple stock has gone basically nowhere this year as analysts have become increasingly skeptical about future iPhone sales growth. Prediction? Apple will surprise the street and grow iPhone units boosted by a powerful upgrade cycle and lots of new fans in China. Second, Alphabet keeps marching higher. The company formerly known as Google skyrocketed this year and in 2016 those gains will continue. In January, Alphabet breaks out the performance of its core business, giving investors a better idea of how search, maps and ads are performing. And the bulls are right. Investors will like what they see and pile in. Third, Yahoo gets sold. Yahoo has suspended the spin of its stake in Chinese e-commerce company Alibaba, instead focusing on a spin of Yahoo Core and Yahoo Japan. In 2016, Yahoo will sell its core internet assets, which still attract a lot of eyeballs. Analysts say that core business could fetch as much as $8 billion. Banks have watched innovation change their products dramatically. In 2016, they'll up the ante to make sure their longtime customers and investors don't flee to competitors. Here are some predictions. Shareholders will see more capital returned. The Fed's kept a lid on banks' buybacks and dividends after the financial crisis, but they're getting a better handle on the so-called stress tests and lobbying the Fed for adjustments that would let them give more back to investors. As earnings improve, look for payout ratios to rise, too. Banks will stop trying to build their own products and instead will start buying other companies. Northwestern Mutual bought LearnVest to gain a foothold in millennial investing. J.P. Morgan partnering with OnDeck for alternative lending. And as Wall Street realizes its products are out of vogue, expect Lending Club, Square, and even PayPal to be in play. Blockchain, the code that made Bitcoin possible, is going mainstream. The number of companies exploring payments that bypass both consumer and central banks is growing exponentially and becoming more than just a fascination. By the end of next year, blockchain could become a major way to pay bills or settle trades.